So, but I mean, we're, we're taking on things right now like text messaging. And, and coming out of the last CERT lab, I heard Stephen Brewster talk about text messaging in a way that I had never really considered it as a tool to be used. And so now we're exploring that and rolling that out to, um, to all the ministries, well, many of the ministries in our church. And so how do we do that? And so we're exploring how to do that. And that all came out of starting at a CERT lab conversation. Well, that kind of almost leads into Brewster. Tell us a little bit about your text messaging success. Yeah, I want to know about that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not very novel. Um, text message open rates are about 98%. Text message click-through rates are at about 60%. Uh, I challenge anyone in the world to, to uh, match email open and click-through rates near the same volume. It just doesn't happen. The world's changing. And so, you know, I think everyone comes into church and into church work with this concept or idea of, like, I want to do something different. I want to do something better. I want to. I want to improve on what the last generation did and the amazing foundation and legacy that they built. I want to learn how to take that to the next level. Well, just follow technology. Technology is doing that. So if if text messaging provides that opportunity, then that's great. But it's it's just a tool. I think a lot of times we get caught up with methods when the truth is methods change, but message never changes. And so we have a responsibility to communicate the message and communicate it really, really well and use whatever methods available at that moment in time to do it the most efficiently as possible. That's fantastic. I love that. So, so when it comes to the message, how do you cater that message to use a, a tool like text messaging with all those, like, those huge open rates? Like how, do you, how do you squish down that message to actually pump it in there? Like what type of stuff are you guys sending out and how does it fit into your overall strategy? Well, you're going to have to come to the CERT lab and find out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's, there's, there's obviously multiple ways that you do that. I mean, um, people want to, you drive people to the easiest way to get them connected and assimilated into whatever the process you're trying to do. So whether that's through a website or through another social media platform or um, or just a, a simple click through um, a Twitter card whatever it might be some kind of a resource that takes them to the next step uh, continues people moving in the process but also at the same time limits the number of clicks that they take you don't want somebody having to uh, click 10 times to sign up for your taco event that's pretty lame yeah absolutely they better absolutely. be really good tacos